Hey guys, Dan Hood here, Big DH2000. Um, the other night, several people have been asking me about my my grip or the grip my brother developed. Um, many of you don't really see his videos anymore and know what's going on. A lot of you keep asking me. And I realize I do have this buried somewhere in a variety of other videos but I needed to do a video that strictly says uh, uh, hood uh, whatever you want to call it fist grip so that, so that I can find it because I can never seem to find the right one you have to excuse my noisy dog over here he only eats when I come visit him in the basement for some reason so he's over here chomping away and yelping at me every time I try to shoot anyway I just got to sell Jim uh, slingshot right here. It's the slant. Um, make sure your bands are straight. Okay. Uh, I, this is over the top. It works the same for through the fork on this this grip. Put the steel ball in. Okay. Uh, this this is just protection on my finger because I I get a lot of band slap there and the finger down below. But for some reason today it's on here. Now. It's in the pouch, okay? You can see where I've got it between my two fingers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it in here, okay? You can tuck it with two fingers, with one finger, okay? You can see it's tucked up tight in my thing. You notice when I get done, if I hold the slingshot like this and I pull, you notice that the pouch ends up 180 degrees to where it started. It should be like this, but you can't. I don't pull like that. I pull like this. I go all the way back. Hopefully you guys can see it. All the way back. And then all you got to do is release your finger. And it goes. Okay? Let me show it to you again. Take it like this. Tuck the steel up inside. Fold the pouch over, pinch it here, okay, it's already set to go, I don't, what I do then is I set this, I pull this back to a set spot no matter what, and then I adjust, I adjust this front one right here, okay, I got this set back here, I adjust where I'm aiming to, I sight down the bands, then I release, okay, release is just I mean, you don't even have to do much. Just one finger, two finger, depending on how many you hold. The good thing about this grip is you, you, you build fist strength anyway from a variety of other things, especially me, because I, you know, I use oscillating sanders and all that and things, so my fists are really strong. And the great thing is, too, it doesn't matter the size of the ammo. Here, let me go get something. can't find the tennis balls but look this is the size of a tennis ball you see how I can grip it the same way in a pouch here's my big massive one for shooting massive stuff I put this in here right grip it the same way okay guess what I can shoot this down range too as you can see, it's a it's a lot easier to grip these big things because look, you can use multiple fingers, okay? Whereas most other holds and grips don't allow that. You, you understand what I'm hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. But see, I can go and I can release this and it'll go straight through and down there. Now, this is very expensive tape, so I don't want to do that with it. But as you can see, if you can fit it in the palm in a in your hand like this which means I can shoot up to the size of a grapefruit I can hang on to it I can do it with just one hand okay that's that's what's so impressive about this grip it also works on all your strengths and most importantly when you when you release look your wrist is perfectly straight okay it's not twisted like this not like this not like this not like this not like this 
it's perfectly straight in the most rigid form you can have the only problem is there are some grips when you do it like this you can get another two inches of length to shoot but you lose some strength which means you can't put in as powerful a band set on it okay this you can put a lot more powerful band set you put whatever band set your fingers can hold okay and working the grip uh, you guys know those um, squeeze them devices where you can work on grip strength just use those if you don't if you don't fabricate since I fabricate my hands are very strong anyway guys hope that answers everybody's question about the grip style I use some people said it's like it's like I let out a trap door when the thing comes whistling out of the whistling out of my hand they said it's like a jailbreak <laughs> hey doesn't have to look good just has to work good take care guys <laughs>